A new The Lord of the Rings rumor claims one of Galadriel's brother plays a leader of a band of orcs. I don't really know what this is about yet, so we'll check this out together at the same time. John up Trent, love the guy. He's done some great articles. This, the Prime Video's upcoming Lord of the Rings show, I'm not looking forward to be honest. There's, without Peter Jackson's involvement and his entire team, because it was 100% a team effort, obviously. But without them involved, I find it difficult to imagine a accurate depiction of Lord of the Rings. It's, of course, possible, and I'll hold out judgment until I see it. But everything we've heard about this show is greatly concerning to me. Uh, Prime Media, as Galadriel's brother, plays a character named Adar, who is the leader of a band of orcs. That's kind of weird. But, I mean, not unheard of, at least when it comes to the Middle Earth video games. This new rumor comes from a self-proclaimed Lord of the Rings scooper, Fellowship of Fans. The scooper previously claimed that actor Jacob Maul would be acting as a character named Adar. They revealed this character was an elf who had been corrupted and tortured and was also the leader of a band of orcs. Nothing too concerning about that. They tweeted out, okay. Because we do, there is like, um, not suggested lore, but there's references to the fact that Elves uh, were corrupted to become orcs, so if this is one of the early stages of that, I don't see any real problems with this if it does end up being true. And Adar is apparently in charge of orcs, but he's not an orc, so he's still an elf. Um, it's probably insanely difficult to corrupt an elf, so unless it was Sauron uh, sour himself that did it, I would feel a little bit concerned about them doing that. Translates to father, okay, so what? And I don't know why it's one of Galadriel's brothers. I I love Galadriel as a character. She was great in Lord of the Rings, and some of the best parts of The Hobbit was her performance and her scenes. And But this show is, I'm really worried about the direction they're taking this show, just in everything that we've heard. I don't remember any mention of brothers in reading the books or watching the show. But I haven't read The Cimmerillion uh, or The Unfinished Tale, so maybe there's a reference to that in there. He's a warlord, tortured and corrupted. He used to be an elf. What is he now? He sounds like a villainous character. He's okay. There doesn't seem to be much in it. Uh, Gladry held three... Okay, so yeah, this is getting into it. Three brothers. I can't pronounce all those. Uh, there was also a fourth, as noted in The Cimmerillion. However, Arthur... Uh, author J.R.R. Tolkien later made changes to the character, making him the son of Andra. Okay. No, uh, so they're making a brand new brother character. That's really weird. They're, they're just diverting too much from the source material, and that's some of the biggest problems. Not, not that there's a framework to go from. It's just a history that they're going off of. So this seems like a disaster on arrival. Uh, none of the pre... Uh, the known brothers were leaders of orcs. They did battle against Sauron in the Songs of Power. He would be defeated, but his identity would be revealed. Sauron was sick, a werewolf in the companions, and the foul beast even devoured one of his companions, but none of them betrayed Finrod. In fact, when it was just he and Baron left, Finrod would break free of his chains and slay the wolf. That actually sounds like a cool story with the werewolf. I gotta read this in the really, and I really got to. Uh... See, they should be adapting stuff like this into the show instead of making up their own shit, making up their own brother for Galadriel and just kind of feminizing everything that we've known that came before in the Tolkien history. So it's not Finrod, just name changed. Yeah, why are they doing this? That's the biggest question out of all of this. Why does Amazon feel the need to rewrite the history so thoroughly? And this is still a rumor at this point. And may not be that big of a deal, but it just speaks to the broader whole of this isn't based on Lord of the Rings. It's Lord of the Rings and name only in a couple characters' names. It's not following the lore, but from what we know, it's there's just a lot going on with the show that makes me deeply concerned. I'll hold out judgment until it comes out, but I am not looking forward to it in any way, shape, or form. Especially after we keep hearing stuff like this, where they're like, Source material? What source material? There's only the movies, and we can make up anything. I mean, it's just asinine, their approach to this entire this entire show. Why would you spend so much money 
on getting the rights to the property and then just make it your own shit. They just wanted the name Lord of the Rings. They spent that much money on just those few words, the Lord of the Rings. Paying a lot of money to put a few words on a poster, mate. It just doesn't make much sense. It's going to lead to some problems in the future. If you like what I do here and want to see good, compelling stories that Hollywood will no longer give you, check out my book series, Odyssey of a Phoenix, a mythological epic about philosophy, morality, and modern-day mental illness issues. Books 1, Down in Flames, and Book 2, Apocalypse Then, currently on sale. Book 3, Kill the Dark, coming soon.